All right, now we're getting to the conclusion. So we need to write a conclusion. A conclusion is usually one to two paragraphs long. And I know quite a lot of you struggle with that. So I've made a little guide on how to write a conclusion that I've adapted from the WikiHow article that's quite good and quite in depth on this topic. So um, I recommend you start uh, by restating your topic and explaining why it's important or why it's a problem. Um, you can also, uh, or either, either you do both or you do either or, um, restate the focus question in some way because um, the aim of the conclusion is actually to answer the focus question as well. All right, so that's for the start section. Then in the middle section of your conclusion, now you don't have to actually put headings. This is just me putting headings so that you know what to do. And these don't have to be in different paragraphs. They can all be in one. Don't worry about that. Um, in the middle, you will then briefly summarize your main points. Just a few short key facts of what you found out. Um, uh, just please note, there may be no new information in your conclusion. There's actually a point that you will lose if you put any new information in. And mostly, the kind of facts that you will name here will be the facts that you gained from your phase one research. Okay. Um, and this middle section needs to have the key answers to the focus questions. So basically, solutions so that teenagers can use the whatever online activity that you've chosen safely and responsibly. Okay. Then in the end, for to end off your conclusion, you can do one or one of these three things, um, or do more than one. It's up to you. But you can either make a call to action if it's appropriate, like everyone needs to do this and we have to all work together as a society, what, 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 something like that. Or uh, posing a question, um, they have a, an example on the WikiHow article, you know, will we ever realize how critical it is, blah, 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 whatever. Um, or make a suggestion that, you know, that there needs to be further research or that society has to focus more on this or parents need to get involved or schools need to get involved, something like that. So that's the basic structure that you can use to write your conclusion. All right. Now, once you've written your conclusion in here, so you have a start, middle and end, then I want you to please go down and fill in and sign the declaration of authenticity. So you put your name and surname over there, your ID number, um, your teacher's name. If you got any help or information from anyone else, please put that in there. And then for the signature, um, just go to paint. Okay, just the regular paint app and make a little signature. Okay, mm -hmm, whatever your signature looks like. Okay, and um, I think just make it quite a lot smaller. I think you can drag it smaller there in the end. There you go. And then you save this as a picture, okay, which you will then insert over here by signature of learner, please. All right.